Hello everyone, my name is John Doe, coming to you right here in Tokyo, Japan. Now, for us in the working class, being able to have a job and hold it down is vitally important for us because we live paycheck to paycheck and we're of course struggling. And we don't expect it because we do know how things are. But when we run into trouble and we can't come to work for a while, or if there's a problem at work, we at least hope that those in power will cut us, what they say, a little slack. But often, in our hyper imperialist capitalist world, there is no slack to be found for us workers, ever. Which relates to the case of Neil Grain Granger. Now, Neil has been an English teacher here in Tokyo for many years. He loves his job, and for him, it's not just another job. It's his career. He depends on that job. And without that job, he's in big trouble. Now, he was working for Waseda International School for a very long time. He um, the teacher there. Now, Waseda International School is a prep school for capitalist, well, the children of capitalist elitists. <coughs> Pardon me. They prep them in that school of English and other side things. And then they get automatic admission into Waseda University. Now, me and you, we can never hope to attend such a place. So he was teaching these capitalist, elitist children <coughs> the skill of English to help them as they go along through life. And he enjoyed that a lot. But then, Neil contracted cancer, a curable form of cancer. But cancer, none the same, nonetheless, excuse me. A week after that, hospital calls him up and says, you got to come back in here. We found something else in your blood. He goes back there and he's also HIV positive. Now that's a lot to deal with. And Neil was very brave. Neil faced this in a foreign country in a land that's not his own, in a system, in a culture, a society, that, lack of a better word, a little foreign to him. So he went through this, two major surgeries, once for his lymph nodes, and once for his um, cancer was on his back. It was pretty horrendous to go through. He survived that, and he got through it. And all Neil wanted to do was return to work. Now, what happened here was that Neil started to go back to work. This was around um, August, it appears like. right? He was able to work about half of August of this year. But he couldn't work any of September. Because he was in this immune oil therapy, I believe that's, I'm not a doctor, guys. But it's a way to build up your immune system after a cancer surgery. So he had to take a lot of time off work for that. Now, here's where it came to trouble with his company. There's a little quirky thing about Japanese labor law, about taking time off work because you're sick. Now, if you take a half day off, you only get a half days paid. But if you take the whole day off due to sickness or illness, you're given two-thirds pay. So Neil, really needing the money because hospital bills were mounting, even though we have universal health care here in Japan, something like cancer surgery, yeah, the national system is not going to be able to really get it done for his money goals. So he's taking the two-thirds in September for all that month. You know, he's getting the two-thirds, helping him out, keeping him above ground, you know, all that. Nana, 
Waseda University, they didn't like that very much, apparently. So, they tell Neil, you become just too bothersome for us. You're gone. So, effectively, fired him after he was talking to him, negotiating for a while, offered him a six-month final terminal contract, and you're out of here. That, now, as sick as that sounds for a company to behave, it's not unusual here in Japan. It's definitely not unusual for this type of thing to happen. As, you know, working in Japan a lot of times, you being in a company, it's kind of like being in a wolf pack, a pack of wolves, you know, raw strong, run together, work together. But when one of us, if in a company's opinion, if one of us workers falls behind a little bit, needs a little help, a little sick, nah, cut us like a pack of wolves, leave us to die alone because we are bothersome to the group. Now, when they talk about bothersome to the group, they're not talking about any lofty ideas of togetherness or, or harmony at work. What they're talking about is profit. They had to pay something to Neil without getting profit from him. And that's why Neil no longer has his job at Waseda University Prep School. So now Neil is stuck with this situation. All right? Completely shattered from losing his job at Wasina International. Went through the emotional and physical pain of having cancer surgery. Two cancer surgeries. And then the devastating news that he's HIV positive. And now Neil is still here in Tokyo. And Neil needs some help. He needs us. To stand up and stand by Neil in his time of need. And we have a way to do that. Coming up on November the 3rd of this year in Tokyo, there's going to be an event called the Yamathon. Now, do not confuse this with the Yamanote Run. It's different. This Yamathon is just for Neil. Like I said, it's happening. November the 3rd of this year. Now we're going to walk the entire stretch of the Yamanote line. It's the green train. It's the center train in Tokyo, in Tokyo Metro, right? Very famous train line. A lot of happening places on that line. We're going to walk it as walkers. and Hopefully we'll get some sponsors for the walkers. And we can collect a little money to give to Neil. To help him with his ongoing mounting legal bills, his medical bills, and other such concerns that he needs. So, I'll put a link in the description box, okay, of this video to the Yamathon. Now, if you look and you go to Walkers on that page, you see my name down there, John Dole, at the bottom. I'm one of the Walkers. Now, if you want to sponsor me, and be able to pay a little money for this. I will be walking. So get in contact with me and let me know that you're interested in being a sponsor. So I'll put your name on the list. Work out how much you want to pay. But please, help Neil. Because if we don't help Neil, no one is going to help Neil. If no one helps him, that's a tragedy. We all should hang our heads just a little bit lower. So again, I'll put a link to Yamathon on there. If you're going to be in Tokyo air in that time, during that time, please come out. Walk with us. If you can't, go to Yamathon page and look about supporting a walker. If you want to support me directly, you want to sign up to be the sponsor of my walk directly, just send me a, a private message or something, and we'll make arrangement for that to happen. So always remember, in the end, 
all us workers have is each other. Keep that in mind. Until And until next time, this is of course me, John Doyle, checking out. <laughs>